Imagine this, it's a balmy summer evening, and you find yourself curled up on the couch, the soft glow of the television casting dancing shadows on the walls. You stumble upon a classic movie channel, and there, on the screen, unfolds a tale of torment, telekinesis, and teenage turmoil. Yes, I'm talking about the iconic 1976 movie, Carrie. For many, that first encounter with Carrie is etched in their memory like a scar, a mixture of fascination and dread. The image of Sissy Spacek, drenched in pig's blood, her telekinetic rage unleashed upon her tormentors, is nothing short of haunting. And who can forget the eerie prom scene with its twisted blend of innocence and horror? It's a cinematic experience that leaves an indelible mark on anyone fortunate enough to witness it. But let's dig deeper, shall we? As we peel back the layers of this cinematic gem, while we'll uncover some intriguing tidbits about the making of Carrie. From casting choices that could have been very different to unexpected mishaps on set, prepare to be captivated by the lesser known facts that surround this iconic horror film. So, grab your popcorn, turn down the lights, and prepare to journey back to the world of high school horrors and telekinetic talents as we unravel the mysteries behind Carrie. It's a story of blood, tears, and telekinesis that you won't want to miss. Won't want to miss. Won't want to miss. In 1976, the iconic horror film Carrie hit the big screen, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. While Sissy Spacek's performance as the titular character is now legendary, the road to her casting was not a straightforward one. For her screen test, Spacek took a unique approach. She deliberately disheveled her appearance, rubbing Vaseline into her hair and foregoing any attempt to wash her face. Adding a touch of nostalgia, she wore a sailor dress, a garment crafted by her mother during her seventh grade years, though with the hem artfully removed. Spacek's path to landing the role of Carrie was not initially clear. Director Brian De Palma was initially set on Amy Irving for the part. It was only at the insistence of Spacek's husband, art director Jack Fisk, that De Palma allowed her to audition. In an unexpected twist, Spacek secured the role, while Irving was given the smaller role of Sue. Years later, when Sissy Spacek was asked about the enduring status of Carrie during an interview on Inside Actors Studio, she expressed her surprise, stating, I can't believe anyone still knows who Carrie is. In conclusion, the making of Carrie was marked by unique audition tactics, a surprising casting decision, and the enduring legacy of a horror classic. In the 1976 movie Carrie, directed by Brian De Palma, one standout detail is John Travolta's first major film role. Before becoming a Hollywood icon, Travolta played Billy Nolan, a supporting character in the film. This role marked the beginning of his successful acting career. Another intriguing tidbit from the film involves a genuine reaction from actress Priscilla Pointer who played the role of Mrs. Snell. In the last scene of the movie, Amy Irving, who portrayed Sue Snell, had an outburst that so terrified her real-life mother, Priscilla Pointer, that she inadvertently screamed out Amy instead of Sue. Her genuine concern for her daughter was captured on film, but the loud ending music covered up this mistake. Sissy Spacek, who played the titular character, Carrie, also contributed to the film's authenticity. During a pivotal scene where Carrie realizes she is bleeding in the showers, Spacek asked director Brian De Palma how she should react. De Palma's response was to imagine it as if she had been hit by a Mack truck. To create an authentic portrayal, Spacek consulted her husband, Jack Fisk, who had a childhood experience of being run over by a car while admiring Christmas lights. She used his description of the incident as a basis for her character's reaction. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers of authenticity and emotion to the 1976 movie Carrie, making it a memorable cinematic experience for audiences. The dizzying camera shot in Carrie in the 1976 movie Carrie, a memorable prom scene was brought to life through a unique camera technique. To achieve the dizzying effect, William Catt and Sissy Spacek, who played pivotal roles in the scene, were positioned on a spinning platform. This platform rotated in one direction, while the camera moved in the opposite direction. The result was a visually disorienting shot that added tension and suspense to the scene. This creative use of camera work helped intensify the prom's dramatic climax, making it one of the standout moments in the film. The contrasting movements of the actors and the camera added to the overall impact of the scene, creating a sense of unease and chaos as the story unfolded. 
and carry innovative filmmaking techniques like this played a crucial role in bringing Stephen King's novel to life on the big screen. The combination of skilled direction and technical expertise contributed to the movie's lasting impact on the horror genre. The dizzying camera shot during the prom scene serves as a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the filmmakers behind Carrie. It's a reminder of how a well-executed cinematic technique can enhance the storytelling and leave a lasting impression on audiences. And there you have it, a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes magic that helped make Carrie a classic in the horror genre. In 1976, Brian De Palma directed Carrie, a film that marked several significant milestones in cinema history. One notable aspect was that it was the first ever adaptation of a Stephen King novel into a movie. King's prolific career as a writer of horror and suspense stories began to gain cinematic recognition with this film. What's more, Carrie showcased the talent of John Travolta, who was rising to fame as the star of the TV series Welcome Back, caught her in 1975. Despite playing a minor character in the film, Travolta received second billing on the posters, a testament to the emerging star's popularity. For director Brian De Palma, Carey proved to be a turning point in his career. It was his first commercially successful film, laying the foundation for a future filled with numerous iconic movies. Carey remains a classic in the horror genre, with its blend of supernatural elements, high school drama, and a memorable prom night sequence. These milestones in the film's enduring legacy continue to captivate audiences, making Carrie an essential part of cinematic history. Nick history. Nick history. Nick his John Travolta's memorable Carrie audition in 1975. John Travolta, already known for his role as Vinny Barbarino in Welcome Back, Cotter, had a memorable audition for the 1976 movie Carrie. He didn't have time to change out of his Vinny Barbarino getup because he auditioned during a lunch break from his TV show. Despite the unconventional attire, Travolta landed a role in the film, marking one of his early steps towards stardom. Travolta's unexpected audition outfit became a part of Carrie history. Piper Laurie's authentic wounds in the film, Piper Laurie portrayed Margaret White, Carrie's mother, who inflicts wounds on herself. These wounds weren't created by makeup. Piper Laurie went to great lengths to make her character's actions believable. She used a technique known as method acting to create genuine wounds on herself, adding a chilling authenticity to her performance that left a lasting impact on the audience. Stephen King's humble beginnings while Carrie was making waves in 1976, its source material, the novel by Stephen King, had its own story. At that time, Stephen King was earning a modest $1.60 an hour at an industrial laundry. It was during this period that he penned his first novel, Carrie. Little did he know, this work would launch his career as one of the most renowned authors in the world, with numerous bestsellers adapted into films. These intriguing facts shed light on the behind-the-scenes details of the 1976 movie Carrie, and its connection to the talented individuals who brought it to life. Behind the scenes of the 1976 movie Carrie in 1976, the iconic horror film Carrie, based on Stephen King's debut novel, hit the big screen. While many are familiar with the film's chilling prom scene and Sissy Spacek's unforgettable performance, there are some intriguing behind-the-scenes details that add depth to its history. Stephen King's literary choices Before Carrie became a movie, Stephen King wrote the manuscript and then set it aside to work on his next novel, Salem's Lot. This decision highlights King's prolific career and his ability to seamlessly transition from one project to the next, setting the stage for his future as a master of horror literature. Sissy Spacek's commitment during the filming of the infamous prom sequence, Sissy Spacek, who portrayed Carrie White, went to great lengths for continuity. Her trailer was parked behind the set, and after being drenched in fake blood, Spacek chose not to wash it off. Instead, she slept in her bloody clothes for three consecutive days of filming. Her dedication to the role contributed to the film's authenticity and her own enduring reputation as a method actress. A Spielberg connection in a 2010 interview with the AV Club, PJ Souls, who played Norma in the movie, revealed an interesting tidbit about the set of Carrie. Steven Spielberg frequently visited the set at director Brian De Palma's invitation. The Palma's enticing pitch. There are a lot of cute girls down here. Spielberg took the bait and asked out several women on set, with only Amy Irving accepting his offer. 
This unexpected connection eventually led to Irving and Spielberg's marriage from 1985 to 1989, during which they had one son together. These lesser-known aspects of the making of Carrie offer a glimpse into the creative and personal dynamics behind this classic horror film. From Stephen King's writing choices to Sissy Spacek's commitment and even a touch of Hollywood romance, Carrie remains a movie that continues to fascinate audiences even decades after its release. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the eerie and unforgettable world of the 1976 classic, Carrie, I invite you to pause and reflect on the powerful impact this film has had on you. From its gripping storyline to its iconic prom scene, Carrie has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Have you ever felt like an outsider, like the world just doesn't understand you? Carrie White's story resonates with so many because it taps into that universal desire for acceptance and the consequences of unchecked cruelty. Whether you empathize with Carrie's struggles or shudder at the chilling climax, this film has a way of searing itself into your memory. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your favorite memories or thoughts about Carrie? Was it a spine-tingling moment that made you jump out of your seat? Or perhaps a poignant scene that tugged at your heartstrings? Did you find yourself sympathizing with the tortured protagonist? Or did you secretly cheer for her telekinetic outbursts? Your unique perspective adds depth to the legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of Carrie with us. Your passion and insights enrich our appreciation of this timeless film. Keep the conversation alive by sharing your thoughts and memories with fellow film enthusiasts. And remember, every scream, every gasp, and every tear shed while watching Carrie is a testament to its enduring power. Until our next cinematic adventure, keep the popcorn popping and the lights dimmed. And always remember, the best stories are the ones we share. Warmly.